Hello everyone. Am I audible to all? Yes. So I see a lot of people wanting to get into the room. Uh, so uh, meanwhile, since till the time other people get in, I just want especially the newcomers. So to let you know, you are not joining a webinar. You people are joining a community by itself and you will realize this uh, as the days go. So let me just, uh, whoever is the newcomer, can you just put up your name and location in the chat box, please? Uh, Krishna, good afternoon, Dr. Husseini. Good afternoon, Dr. Vaishnavi. Hello. Uh, whoever is new, let us all just meet them once. Those who have joined the community for the first time. So those who are new or coming for the first time, can you just uh, put up uh, your name and your location uh, in the group, please? Is it uh, possible to open this? Is there anyone who is attending this uh, kind of inner circle meet for the first time? Yes, Dr. Stuti. Hi. All of you just uh, welcome Stuti also. Stuti, as we are knowing, is from Savin. And she will be guiding us regarding the uh, patient acquisition platform and many other interesting things related to practice management. So, Stuti, I welcome you on behalf of everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Yarani. It's an honor to be on this call and so glad to be talking to all of you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Meena, madam, good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Vivek, hi. Dr. Muthu, Koyambatur, welcome. Dr. Vaishnavi Joshi is from Pune. Uh, great. 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 Is there anyone else uh, who is probably in the inner circle for the first time? Please let us know. I can see a lot of familiar faces also. Uh, Dr. Sayed, Dr. Saurabh, Dr. Deepak, Vivek, Dr. Nikit, Dr. Gaurav, Dr. Saurabh Jaiswal, Dr. Ashwin, Dr. Sumit Kaur, Dr. Ritesh Kumal from Sambal. Welcome to you. Dr. Praveen Vaishya, my friend. Hi, how are you? And yeah, so... Great, great to see all of you. Yes, uh, so before we start, I want to once again uh, welcome you all for the last Inner Circle meeting of 2023. And uh, it's going to be something amazing. Not only we are going to discuss the zygomatic two-hole technique, which is an innovative technique, uh, but also we have something to brainstorm us because we have Suti from Savin. And as we all know, I have put up the video before also. Savin offers world-class facilities for EMI for the patients. So all our patients who probably are sometimes reluctant or hesitant to get the treatment done become very easy when the convenient EMI option is given to them. So I will not talk much about this. I will let Stuti take over. Stuti, you may share your screen now. I think you'll have to make her the host. So I'll ask one of my team members to make you the host so that you can take over. And what she's going to explain is not only how Sabin offers the easy EMI option, which will help you convert your cases better, but also she is going to introduce to all of us LeadX which is uh, a unique platform which will help us all get amazing new patients. So I want all of you to just say, type welcome Stuti and Stuti, you are now the co-host. You can start sharing your screen. Sure, I'll just... It is not given. Okay, all right. I have the option to share my screen. Is my screen visible to all? Yes. Yes. Great. Um, hi, everybody. I am Stuti, Stuti Agarwal, and I lead marketing at Sabin. Sabin is nothing but uh, uh, your 0% EMI provider. We help your patients convert their expenses, their 
treatment costs, your service costs into easy 0% EMIs. Um, the, uh, it is a 100% digital process. Uh, we pay you upfront. So there is zero liability on you for the repayment of the payment from the customer's side or the patient's side. We pay you up front between 24 to 48 hours, of course, minus the small commission fee that Sabin takes for itself. And just in case you're interested to, you know, get uh, yourself onboarded, I'm just leaving this one link on uh, the chat. Uh, it, it'll ask you five simple questions. Just leave on, you know, leave your details and someone from the team will get back to you between, in the next week. I mean, tomorrow we're starting with the holidays. It's a long weekend. So next week, give us time till Tuesday to get back to you for sure. Uh, I'll just take a small presentation here. So as a healthcare provider, you understand the pain of high cost private care, right? Unplanned treatments, the dental, I mean, insurance does not cover any dental charges. It is all out of pocket. Customers hesitate to take the right treatment because of the cost of the treatment. And sometimes they defer and they come back to you when the tooth is completely gone and need, it needs extraction. Suboptimal charges, cheaper options available. People tend to go for that because again, um, pocket is a problem, right? So customers use instant loans or 0% EMIs for mobile phones. I mean, there is a study that says Apple, as soon as they introduced 0% EMIs for Apple phones, suddenly the sale went from uh, X to 8X in India. Mobile phones, consumer durables like TV, fridge, AC, education, travel, even people take 0% EMIs for travel, make my trip offers 0% EMIs leisure, shopping, food, then why not healthcare? So we introduced Savin, which is E0% EMI is designed for healthcare. We do, like other lending partners in the uh, market, we only focus on healthcare. Other lending partners uh, offer 0% EMI on one too many things. We are healthcare focused. That is why we say we are there for you only. And, you know, our focus does not divert here and there. It's a 100% paperless process. Sim five simple questions and the answer is given up front to your customer for the approved amount. Our approval rate is 60% plus compared to what you get outside. Again, uh, approval in two minutes, 24 hours operations. Uh, it is a mobile app led uh, or application process. We have introduced QR codes. Your, uh, you know, we give QR codes to the centers where patient can just scan the QR code and begin their application. There is no hidden fee at all. Uh, how are we different? We are founded uh, by a team of, you know, people with 50 years of experience in finance, technology and banking. We are headquartered in USA. We are powered by, you know, we are uh, backed by Y Combinator. We recently won the India Fintech Rising Star of the Year Award at uh, India Fintech Forum Awards. We know your process. We know pre, post and during uh, for healthcare. We launched ourselves, say, two years ago. We launched in January 2022. We have 5,000 plus healthcare practices on our platform, out of which 1,100 plus are dental practices. We have uh, catered to 150K plus applications. We have disbursed 700 crore plus. Uh, we have re uh, received uh, demand for 700 crore plus, and we have disbursed 100 crore plus. Uh, some of our lending partners are ICICI Bank, Earthmate, uh, Lendbox, Loan Tap. Uh, some, you know, practices also advertise 0% EMIs in their, uh, you know, websites or their any uh, advertisements that we, that they do. Uh, we are we as a practice advertised in the TOI National in Delhi, uh, Hyderabad, and Bangalore. We are, our uh, advertisement was there for healthcare providers only. Uh, we are India's most innovative healthcare platform because our loans, we have loans for your customers which are up to 3 lakhs. We started with 50 lakh, uh, 50,000, but we have increased limits up to 3 lakhs now. We have loans for your practice. We also do B2B loans which are up to 30 lakhs. Of course, that does not come with 0% EMI, but we do, we give 0% um, uh, we give lowest interest in that. Leadex, as Dr. Virani also mentioned, we are launching our platform Leadex which is uh, like, I can if I can say, it is the Zomato of healthcare. We are going to have all healthcare practices available over there, provide you with uh, free leads. And only when somebody converts or you know, takes treatment from you, will we charge you money. So leads come to you for free, customers come to you, to you for free. And when they take uh, treatment from you, when they give you money is when we take some money. 
and investments we also have our we have tied up with the uh, lend box for p2p investments so we can help you grow your cash so that is where you know we say we are there for you we have we cover your customers we cover you we also bring you inbound demand and we also help you with investments so leading brands that trust us are vlcc to see dhi colors pristine ortho square sharp side bogovets madhavag and of course trisa enterprise does trust us uh so we have covered 300 plus treatments and services uh, across domains uh, like i told you we won india fintech rising star of the year award so this is the media coverage that we have we are present across india 100 plus cities 8000 plus pin codes in fact let me tell you we have crossed 10000 plus pin codes now and uh, you know through cash upi cards bajaj shopse seven we cover all aspects so uh, in terms of uh, ease of issue or repayment tenure or fees of customers down payment we have zero down payment plans uh, our approval rate is very high compared to other partners uh, we are into bank cardless emi in fact uh, coming in november january we are also introducing credit card emi so uh, you know patients can take service on their credit card on 0% emis from us and uh, in jan end we are introducing leadex which again is the patient acquisition platform uh, patients will come search for your treatment patient search for your treatment search for your practice search for dentists or procedures near them and they get to see your practice available over there and um, all the information that we pick of course can be edited by you on that profile otherwise in uh, uh, in principle it all comes from your google profile so there's nothing that we are building on our own everything that you have provided is what is available and visible over there so that is the small presentation that i had any questions happy to answer please tell me uh, that's uh, stuti thank you that's quick fast and very crisp and precise now on behalf of everyone i just request specially for the newcomers uh, to slow it down a bit and uh, just correct me if i'm wrong Uh, i'll just share uh, my personal opinion with say before seven and after so what used to happen is uh, there were patients with maybe 30 40000 uh, worth of treatment to be done and you know sometimes they would say i have not got the money or i need to arrange the funds but the moment i start telling them about the interest free emi option available and the good thing is that you just have to scan one qr code by seven which is then passed on to the patient he fills up his basic details and i think in a matter of uh, 10 or maybe 15 minutes most of the times as stuti said her their approval rate is very high that money gets converted which means that we get the funds so let's say if patient has to pay 40000 we will get our 40000 minus some my minimal saving charges which if i am not mistaken will be in the range of around uh, 6 7% am i correct stuti Yeah. Yes. So yes. roughly around uh, maybe twenty four hundred rupees, I would say, in this particular forty thousand example, and then the remaining amount straight away comes to our bank. The advantage being that uh, not only did we recover our complete fees even before the start of the procedure, we don't have to bother if the patient now doesn't turn up for the procedure or misses out on further appointments. and everything becomes seamless and integrated so that is my testimony of my experience with seven uh, last to last month i we just did a record i think close to 11 and 1/2 lakhs business we could do just by incorporating seven uh, as a strategic partner so all those who are worried about acquiring new patients you also need to think that after acquiring what next if they get stuck up so i think seven has both the answers not only with leadex so leadex as she rightly said they have vast presence at multiple platforms and also the bandwidth considering the amount of funds available with them to do a high end marketing which i think at individual level may become difficult for us and in one of our calls stuti has agreed that all the inner circle members whoever becomes seven partners which is free automatically become leadex partners am i correct stuti Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hundred percent. Yeah. So, yeah. So, can you elaborate a bit more how Leadex will help us acquire more patients? I mean, what are you thinking about? I mean, why I should uh, become a seven? I've already explained, but then why Leadex also? Sure. Sure, Doctor Virani. Uh, I'll tell you. 
as uh, you know uh, it might be a little bit of repetition to what you said but uh, those are the points actually um, you know we are going to do extensive marketing uh, we are going to uh, you know market as per procedures we are going to market uh, do marketing or advertisements as per domain we are going to run google ads we are going to run facebook ads and our intent is only to get the person on the platform after that how they search so for example you know trisa enterprise or any other uh, uh, dental practice you know we are also taking some offers from you so for example uh, dr virani decides that stuti for one month i'm going to give free consultation to all uh, customers coming from seven so you know we can highlight that practice and bring it on top of the banner so that becomes one of the reasons why uh, you know uh, practices get highlighted Uh, there are zero marketing dollars being spent from your side it is all on us uh, we are hand holding the customer from you know making a booking from them to reaching your practice and you know speaking with them after they reach your practice it is on you but till the time they make a booking and reach your practice we are hand holding them we are, we have a whatsapp bot we have a telecalling team which is literally at their beck and call at any hour of the day so uh, you know uh, yes like zomato you know you can just sit at and sit anywhere like even if i am at my grandma's place and i'm having a toothache i don't need to worry that my dentist is in you know xyz location i just need to log on to seven and look for a good practice as google rates because we all trust google right so as google rates i know the best practice is near me and seven would be the platform irrespective of anything but we just search for a practice it's amazing so what uber did for all of us so i remember the days where we used to run after the cab guy and they wouldn't stop or they would refuse and now just with the help of technology uber gets you your vehicle at your doorstep so it's an amazing way of probably helping not only the patients but also the doctors uh, uh, stuti so i once again congratulate you for this amazing idea and as you rightly said zomato of for the dentists that's a very unique and uh, is any other doctor also wanting to just interact or have any query for stuti before she leaves us stuti i request on behalf of everyone also to drop your number in the chat box so in case there are some extensive discussions yeah 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 so before we start with our scientific presentation on zygomatic implants i also uh, wish to know if anyone else has any queries related to seven or lidex and for those who are interested uh, stuti has already shared the google form you can just fill up the form and get a free onboarding for our inner circle members and uh, i think for any queries stuti has dropped her number so you can connect with her also and uh, as far as the, yeah and as far as the uh experience is concerned i have shared mine and as far as the legibility of what they are doing i think they are among the top notch fintech companies in india as of now thank you dr virani thank you so much that's great that's great yes sort of i think yeah so so stuti thank any you. any parting notes otherwise i think you may take over leave because now it will be a bit scientific things which we are going to discuss so if there's anything for as a parting note and wish you a happy new year in advance Yes, and, uh, that was my parting note. I wanted to wish all of you a very happy New Year in advance. Uh, I have dropped my number. Feel free to call me. I will pay, take your calls. And um, just in case you need yourself to be onboarded within next week, please fill in the form. Just five simple questions, and I'll have you onboarded on priority. Yes, Tuti, you can also drop in your Google form as well as your uh, number on the inner circle because a lot of doctors do they are there on the WhatsApp as well. So yeah. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Ranian. Thank you, Lovely Stuti. Talking to you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Stuti, for this amazing presentation and something to cheer about as we enter into the new year. And how many are of you are now ready for our uh, class on zygomatic implants? And it is not uh, something new. All of us know about zygomatic implants, but what I wish to share with you. is one small innovative technique of doing zygomatic implants which will cut short your time of placing those implants and increase your confidence to predictably place zygomatic implants with this technique i am very sure even the doctors who have not done even one zygomatic implant will start finding it very easy to place zygomatic implants uh, so 
how many of you are just ready for it i hope all of you have watched the two videos which i shared on our inner circle group which will help you process what i'm going to say further better and finally uh, if you're ready just type bio as we always do bring it on and let me just pull up my presentation also meanwhile So those of you who are still joining, I will quickly just share the Zoom link also one more time in our inner circle community. And before we start on to the presentation on zygomatic implants, uh, for those who are joining this community for the first time, let me just tell you this community is a scientific community where we like to uh, probably share whatever scientific details we can with each other, help each other grow. And just last to last week, we also started this amazing new idea of doing a group group purchase, uh, which means we select a particular product and all of us will do a group purchase, thus discounting the price of the product. I think a lot of doctors benefited from the idea where they could purchase the implants at nearly around 15, 18% discounted rate which normally doesn't happen when you are buying just three or five implants, but that's the power of this community. And I hope all those who have been in the community for long are not only enjoying such kind of freebies, but also the unique things like today we discussed saving strategy, need strategy. And now we will discuss about the two hole technique of zygomatic implants. So is my screen visible to all? Uh, just please comment in the comment box or now i would prefer if you don't mind if you can just put up your comments on the whatsapp group because that will you know i can have two screens and i will be able to do this better so quick is my screen visible just confirm with me yeah just let me know if my screen is visible and uh, Is it visible? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can we start? Yeah. Great. So when it comes to zygomatic implants, the simplest way to understand the indication of zygomatic implants is to divide the maxilla into three zones. So right now we discuss the indication of zygomatic implant. <clears throat> so one of the easiest way is to trace the sinus. So how I like to do is with the OPG X-ray. I like to just trace the sinus like this. Okay. So this is how I sit with the OPG and I trace the sinus. And if the mesial part of the sinus, if the mesial part of the sinus has pneumatized up till the first premolar or sometimes even till the canine area, I strongly recommend considering zygomatic implant as one of the implants needed for your case. So a lot of doctors keep asking me, is zygomatic implant needed in my case? This is the simple way of knowing whether zygomatic implant is needed. So how and why it would be needed is very simple. So let's say if you place a pterygoid implant in this case, and next you put an implant over here, the inter implant distance is too long. So is too long and this long interimplant distance will have a lot of torsional forces especially on our isoelastic implants leading to micro motion mobility and then eventually implant overload and probably failure yeah. are you all are you are you all with me so far is everyone able to understand are you all with me so far just yes, type yes in the comment box right Okay, so this is one of the simplest way of knowing whether a zygomatic implant is needed in simple language. Again, to repeat, if the sinus, the medial wall of the sinus has pneumatized right up till the first premolar or the canine, you may have to strongly consider a third cortical. See, zygoma is an extraoral cortical. So 
normally we talk about the first cortical and the second cortical but now we are going extra maxillary which means we are talking about the third cortical wherein that will provide us the anchor point for our implants thus reducing the inter implant distance and also providing a strong and stable cortical support along with your pterygoid implant and your nasal implant this also creates a wider balancing contact so in the group also we discuss that if you see this is the balancing table where the occlusal loads are going and this is the occlusal table so always we want your balancing table to be wider than your occlusal table so that the forces are dissipated over a longer area are you all with me so far you can just type yes in the comment box please so far so clear indication and how exactly to know if you require a zygomatic implant just tell jyoti right great 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 okay so now conventionally when we want to do or in fact by any means if you want to do the zygomatic implant what becomes the most important thing for us is to understand the anatomy of the zygomatic region now what i have done is i have divided the anatomy as always into just six simple things you need to remember anyone who remembers this small six different uh, simple things or the six important anatomical locations is good to start with zygomatic implants so one number one of course we all know is our alveolar ridge so this is your alveolar ridge this is number one number two is your lateral nasal aperture and need not worry i'm going to explain all of this in on our models as well so this is your lateral nasal aperture your infraorbital now and the infraorbital rim so this is your infraorbital now and the infraorbital rim the lateral part of the infraorbital rim becomes even more important so this is your lateral part of the infraorbital rim which is in some way connected to your zygomatic bone this is friends this is the zygomatic bone which i am marking in blue okay and this is the zygomatic notch which i am going to mark in green right now so this is your zygomatic notch and this is your zygomatic buttress i hope all of you are clear with this should i quickly repeat one more time so this is your alveolar ridge number 1 this is your nasal aperture number 2 number 3 infraorbital now and the infraorbital rim and the zygomatic frontal nasal notch which is over here and the zygomatic buttress are this six important landmarks clear to all just type clear please in the comment box yes dr meena madam i have just repeated for you okay all those who want you can even make a small screenshot of this slide these are the only six anatomical landmarks which are more than sufficient for all of you to get into zygomatic implants don't get into unnecessary complicated anatomy we just don't need all that i hope it is clear to all and i can proceed now the approach to the zygomatic implant from the alveolar crest from the alveolar crest is a line which is parallel to your maxilla the anterior wall of the maxilla which i'm going to show you rotates and becomes like goes distally like this so there is one curvature which forms and there will be one line which gets parallel to this line which i'm just going to show you very soon on the model so what we need to figure out is this and this becomes then your trajectory for your zygomatic implants so that you can hit your zygomatic bone okay so we will always whenever we are placing implants we need some kind of an anatomy some kind of a direction a lot of people you know they like to do direction like 20 degree 40 degree upward i don't like to do it this way i like to create 
uh, some kind of an anatomical reference points in my mind while working because we all know that anatomy is very much varied and depending upon the patient to patient the anatomy will keep changing so never you can have a preset angulation but if you start identifying the anatomical landmarks you will definitely be able to approach any kind of zygoma area very confidently Okay, so let me now explain you, uh, just one of you, Savita, please come closer and I will just take the model in my hand. You need to shoot this. Let's go shoot. Karna hai. Okay, so let me just show you again on the model. Uh, Dr. Bauman, just confirm with me if I am very clear over what I am saying. Okay. So this Yeah, is it clear now? Just type yes in the comment box, please. If all of you are able to see the model, don't worry, I haven't started anything. Yeah. Is it clear now to all of you? Okay, great. So as you see on the model, this is the alveolar crest. That is your, so all of you can refer to the screenshot you just made. So this is your alveolar crest. Okay. Or let me just take up a bigger model. Yeah. This is better. Okay. So now you are able to identify the structures better. Of course, this is the eye. This is your alveolar crest. This is your lateral nasal aperture. Okay. This one here. Infraorbital now. Infraorbital rim. Zygomatic fronto notch, fronto zygomatic notch. This depression over here. This is the fronto zygomatic notch and the zygomatic buttress. So, for our area of interest, uh, please give me a pencil, please. Our area of interest is this zygomatic buttress. This is the area which is of interest to us as implantologists for attaining our third cortical or the extra oral cortical for the placement of zygomatic implant. Is everyone clear so far in terms of the anatomy? Just put up please in the comment box if there are any doubts regarding the anatomy of this region. That is the most important thing according to me. Is everyone clear? Can you just quickly put up in the comment box? If everyone is clear with the... Is everyone clear so far? Please let me know. Great, great, right. Admin, I just request. Uh, okay, I'll just repeat, uh, Meena, madam, for you. So, for all of you again, alveolar crest, okay, the lateral nasal wall, infraorbital rim, infraorbital now, and you have the frontozygomatic notch, which you can feel like a depression, and the zygomatic buttress over here. I hope everyone, is, especially the new people, I think you can just palpate yourself. And remember this, the more resolved the jaw, the more prominent this buttress and this alveolar uh, and this zygomatic buttress will become. So as the alveolus resolves, it is easier to place a zygomatic implant. And if there is good alveolus, anyways, you will not require a zygomatic implant. So both ways it is, I think, manageable for us. And now let me show you before I show you on the model how exactly to do this, let me just go back to my presentation.
and tell you certain certain small armamentarium which you will need so in terms of armamentarium you can use a 3.5 millimeter conical drill of any company any company is fine so any company drill which is approximately around 3.5 millimeters no don't need to worry about the length any length is okay a 3.5 millimeter conical drill is what you require apart from that you require a 20 is to 1 high torque handpiece remember this zygomatic buttress it's a very dense bone and to perforate it not only your drill but also your handpiece will take a toll so those of you who probably need high torque surgical handpieces or any other equipments which i am sharing right now you can connect with trisa enterprise i have put up the number over here that is 93 i'm sorry the number is wrong let me just put up the number correctly so the number is 9 Three two one five three three four nine three. So anyone who wishes to purchase anything, whatever I'm saying, you can connect with Trisa Enterprise. You require a two millimeter twist drill, which is something like this. And again, I will explain it to you on your hands-on also. It's around sixty millimeters. It's called a zygomatic twist drill, and you will require a two point six conical drill for hard bone cases, which is something like this also available with Trisa enterprise uh, there is also available with norris also but i think it's a bit overpriced it's around eleven thousand five hundred, if i'm not mistaken but with Trisa enterprise the cost is significantly lesser and you can connect with them and for our basal implants you always and always need angular adapters to get the precise angulation now a lot of doctors after placing these zygomatic implants like to bend the zygomatic implants however I don't like in some occasions to bend our zygomatic implants. I will tell you the reason for that. So let's say that you have placed successfully a zygomatic implant like this. And obviously you want to correct the angulation and you want to make it perpendicular to the other implants or parallel to the other implants in the mouth. Now what will happen is if you bend this zygomatic implant, in cases where you are not sure, where you are not got a good torque, God forbid there is a problem failure and you want to remove the implant. When you turn the implant, this implant is going to spin 360 degrees. It is not going to come out straight. But if you have used an adapter over here, you can simply cut off the adapter and derotate and remove the implant. So one of my biggest tips, especially for doctors who are not well versed with zygomatic implants or newcomers, with zygomatic implants one of my biggest team or takeaway point for today is at least the newcomer should the, <laughs> the adapters for zygomatic implants rather than bending this is especially true if you get good torque it's a different story but if you get a loose torque if you feel you are, you are not 100 percent sure about what you have done to retrieve the implant if you have bent the implant it will become a nightmare and it has happened with one of our course participants and that is when I realized that especially the newcomers, especially the newcomers, you should think about using the adapters. I muted everyone, don't worry. I have muted the other participants. anatomy which we need to locate while placing the zygomatic implants so is everyone clear now when we are going to indications of zygomatic implants anatomy which is important for zygomatic implant placement is clear to all can we proceed just type clear please one more time and so that i can now proceed ahead Now, let me show you the exact way of doing it on the model now. So just give me a minute, please, where I shift myself to my other working table so that I can demonstrate to you all how exactly to do the zygomatic implants on the model. 
so that you can correlate to whatever we are speaking. So we can just try to mute everyone else, please. Yeah, just give me a minute, guys. We are setting up my table where I'm going to give you a live demonstration of how to do the zygomatic implant. Uh, Dr. Bhavna, please come here, please. Can you just record this for us? Okay, just make me the host, please. Just make this phone the host so that it will talk to me automatically. It has to become full screen so that yes. Can you make Dr. Ruman Virani the horse? Right. So meanwhile. Sir, please unmute yourself. We are not able to hear. No, audible to all. No, audible. Can you just confirm no, from whether past five minutes. To all? No, from past three minutes, we were not able to hear anything. I'm just waiting for a small technical glitch to be sorted before I start. And meanwhile, I will just tell you about the fissure dispenser. I will just tell you, this is the Trisa Enterprise Physio Dispenser. It's a digital Physio Dispenser available at a very economical cost. And what you need is the 20 is to 1 hand piece. <coughs> so only for the zygomatic implants, we require 20 is to 1 hand piece. Everywhere else, we require the 1 is to 1 hand piece. Just I want to know, uh, we are trying to solve one small technical glitch. All of you are able to see this in full screen or your window is a small window. Can all of you confirm with me whether you are able to see full screen or the window is small? Full screen. Great, great. Okay, great. So I hope everything is uh, you're able to visualize nicely. So quickly, let me just brush up the anatomy for doctors who have just joined the alveolar crest. So this is the alveolar crest. This is the zygomatic cofrontal notch. This is the zygomatic buttress. This is the 
nasal aperture and your infraorbital rim and let me pick up a bigger model so that it becomes clear to all of you alveolar crest nasal aperture and your zygoma this is what is the area of interest so what you do now is to raise a flap you need to raise a flap from canine area from canine area okay all the way up till your tooth number 6 or 7 so this is where you will place your incision and raise only the buccal part no need to raise the palatal part at all this is for you visualizing this area over here very nicely so when you're raising the flap make sure that you are visualizing this area very nicely that's point number 1 that is flap raising next what we do is you locate this area where your max your sinus this is your maxilla this is your maxillary sinus you locate where your maxilla is rotating behind like this can you observe this okay so this is the area where your maxilla is turning behind so your maxilla is rotating and going behind and you try to trace this line from where it is rotating i show you on this side it will become more clear so if you see here this is my maxilla and it is rotating and turning behind and if you see here this is the area from where it is rotating okay so once you have located this curvature over here which we call as the frontozygomatic from where your maxilla is rotating and going behind the deepest part of your curvature from there roughly around 5 to 6 mm in a way that if i draw a line over here it will remain parallel to this line this is your trajectory for your zygomatic implant okay let me show you again on the other side you see the maxilla rotating behind so this maxilla has rotated behind over here this is the curve of rotation this is the point from where it is rotating and if you see here the deepest part curve this frontozygomatic the deepest part of it around 4 to 5 mm over here is where you are going to enter and hit into the zygomatic buttress as far as the start point is concerned you can draw this with a pencil even in the patient's mouth you roughly always it is in the area of second premolar so lot of doctors call this as a rule of 555 which means that you are entering from the second premolar going into the zygomatic bone and remaining 5 mm away from the orbital rib so this is your trajectory now how to go about this after raising the flap uh, please give me a conical drill okay my conical drill i will set it okay So I hope all of you are able to visualize. So let me see. Tell you again. This is the frontozygomatic notch, roughly around four to five millimeter. I have raised the flap. I have located all these landmarks, and now my first hole of the two hole technique. This is my first hole, and probably the most important hole, which allows me to visualize why the purpose of this hole is not for implant placement. The purpose of this hole. is to allow me to visualize my drill when it is going through the hole the purpose of my first hole is not for placement of the zygomatic implant my purpose of the first hole is to allow the visualization of my drill as it goes through the sinus into the zygomatic bone is it clear to all of you please let me know am i clear to all of you so far Just check clear if this is clear and we can go ahead. So let me just come closer. So if I am operating on my right side, on my left side, I have placed the incision from canine, crestally, and in the area of seven, raised the flap till I can 
appreciate the frontozygomatic notch or the arch, the zygomatic bone, and a bit of infraorbital rim if you can trace nothing like it. And then from that deepest part of the arch, I take around four to five millimeters up, and I'm going to start from the second premolar and go towards the zygomatic bone. Now to know if I'm going correctly, I need to see my drill when it is passing through the maxillary sinus into the zygomatic buttress. And for that reason, we create our first hole so that we can visualize the drill going over there. Is it clear to all? Is it becoming simple and easy for all of you to understand? So the purpose of the first hole is to visualize our osteotomy going in the right place. And this visualization happens best happens best in the posterior most part of the maxillary sinus. So this is the maxillary sinus. Okay, this area, the distal and posterior wall of the maxillary sinus. When I create an osteotomy over here, you will be able to nicely see my drill going in over there. So let me create my first osteotomy. So this is the deepest part. You see the deepest part. Roughly four to five millimeters. And you can simply go per 